test, test, test. Hello, everybody. It's five past, and I'm uh, very happy to open this session. Um, I hope the other people are, will be still coming. Um, I just talked to the chair of the session, so I'm doing the opening. I know there are three presentations planned, and I'm starting with mine, uh, which is about um, a project that we have in Germany. Uh, my name is uh, Ilona Buchem, um, a professor in residence for digital media and diversity at Beuth University in Berlin. And uh, the project that I'm going to talk about is a cooperation with Wikimedia uh, Deutschland. So I'm not part of the Wikimedia, um, because a lot of people ask me, so what do you do in Wikimedia? I'm not part of the Wikimedia, I'm part of my university and we have a cooperation with Wikimedia. Um, I work at the Gender and Technolo Technology Center and um, teach in the area of media sociology. So this is what the digital media and diversity is about. It's about the media sociology. Oh, I wanted to tell you about the picture as well. I just uh, got it yesterday from my sister. These are actually young people, uh, friends of my sister. My sister is the one with the uh, striped shirt. And I'm just trying to get them to edit Wikipedia. They study um, um, history of culture, so I think they could make some good contributions to the uh, knowledge. Okay, before I tell you about the project, um, I would like to start with a question about what diversity actually is. And a lot of people associate diversity with um, plurality, with different perspectives, with variety of, of different things. But we talk very often, we talk about different types of diversity. So um, I think it makes sense at the beginning just to clarify what is the concept of diversity and what different types of diversity we can actually talk about. Um, so there are plenty, there's actually a diversity of diversity, I would say. Uh, for example, we can uh, talk about social, uh, social demographic diversity when we think about gender, um, age, um, maybe citizenship. Um, we can talk about maybe cognitive affective diversity when we think about um, the intelligence, the um, attitudes people have. Then we can talk about maybe role or position-oriented diversity. For example, as in Wikipedia, the different roles that people can take on as admins, as stewards, and so on. And of course, we can talk about the epistemic diversity, which really relates to the scope, to the nature of knowledge. So when we talk about the different topics covered, the different um, um, references that we use, maybe the different arguments, this is a completely different type of diversity. And of course, we have other types of diversity as well. When we talk about uh, Wikipedias written in different languages, that's another type of diversity. So we have diversity of diversities. And I think it's interesting to um, think about the relationships between those different diversities. For example, is there a connection between the social demographic diversity and the epistemic diversity, something that has been discussed under the topic of um, systemic bias, for example. From what perspectives do we write? Um, from what perspective do we provide references? And so on and so on. Um, so the question is, why changing anything? Wikipedia is a great project. It has been doing excellent things. It has achieved so much. Um, so does it really matter that the editor base is composed to more or less approximately, we don't know exactly how much, 90% of male users? Does this really matter? Um, a lot of people say, so what? Do we need to change this? So let me just ask you a question. Who here in the audience thinks that it really doesn't matter if these are men or women editing Wikipedia? It just doesn't matter. One person, two. OK, be brave. <laughs> I know we are in the diversity session, but you can just <laughs> say what you think. OK, and who thinks it matters? Wow, great. That's, your, that's why you are here. <laughs> Okay, so I personally think it matters a lot. Um, it matters a lot to have a, an equal representation of women in all areas of life and in Wikipedia as well. And if we look back into the history or we look globally across different countries, we easily see that there's still a lot 
that has to be done, a lot of that women have achieved, but a lot of things that has, have to be done, have to be changed. So there are a lot of reasons why this is important. I'm just going to talk about three. Uh, the first reason may be very pragmatic, may be related to the declining, um, to the declining number of editors and to the poorer retention. As we know, I'm going to quote Sue Gardner a lot of times in my presentation. So this is one of the first ones um, where um, we know that after 2007, it has become hard for the newcomers to integrate into the community and also the number of the editors has been declining, also of the longer, longer ed editors with a longer experience. There have been a lot of different um, decline theories, you can find them on Wikimedia Org site, they are very interesting to, to read through. Uh, for example, one theory could be to say that male, uh, you know, the typical stereotypic um, um, male editor would at some point in time just um, get married, and the marriage could look like this, the wedding. And another uh, theory could be that maybe new social media like Twitter and Facebook just suck up the cognitive surplus, how it is called, and, and people simply engage in other channels, um, which may lead to the decline. No matter what the reason is, why the decline is, um, is there, we're left with a workload problem in the Wikipedia, as um, also as Sue Gardner pointed out. Uh, there's more and more work to do, and less and less people who are willing to take on specific jobs. Um, so, simple solution would be what some people suggest, just take on more male geeky men to edit Wikipedia. Solution two, get more women to balance the, um, how some headlines say, women, Wikipedia seeks women to balance its geeky editors. I think the headlines are really something great. Okay, so, um, different solutions, but nevertheless, that's one of the reasons why we might look for more women in the Wikipedia. Another reason, um, a perspective bias in, in the articles. It has been researched for a long time under the headline of systemic bias, how the fact that there's a domination of a particular population of people, male from um, maybe Christian country in a specific age with a specific view, point of view, influences the way um, um, what articles are written, how they are written, how the knowledge is represented. So there are many, many different examples of, of um, these things. And, um, it, you know, they just show that maybe the theory of the neutral point of view should be revised because it very often really depends on our interests, on what um, is important to us, what matters to us, and this is related to who we are, what our identity is. So um, this is not a free, uh, philosophy free or politically free, a lot of times, knowledge that is represented. Good example, women biographies. Um, underrepresented when you compare different Wikipedia language versions is the same story. If you take the English Wikipedia, the German, uh, the French, and so on and so on, there is m much more or less fewer women, uh, for example, scientists or uh, politicians um, who have their articles compared to men. And of course, we know that men and women um, are interested in different content areas and they tend to edit in different content areas with different uh, intensity. So it really makes sense that we have a good gender balance so that different knowledge areas can be covered on Wikipedia to represent the human knowledge um, that is very multifaceted. Um, and one more different point, the meaning negotiation. It's, it's also very important, I think, we should all realize that knowledge is not something that is objectively somewhere, it's something that is created through the interaction, through the negotiation of meaning, and uh, if the discussions, the ne these negotiations um, are dominated by a particular group, then of course their perspectives and their worldviews are going to be domina domin dominating the discussion and how the meaning is negotiated in any community. And uh, the third reason, I think, why it is important to 
um, improve the gender balance is the image of the free and open movement, right? It is um, something that is important for the Wikipedia in the long term, because if we want to attract anybody, it, we have to make sure that we get good, uh, good press, yeah? If we have a press like this, and this is really international, um, if you read newspaper articles and online articles, you read about Wikipedia these days telling they are ghettoizing women, there's wiki sexism, there's gender exclusion, and so on and so on. So if somebody outside of Wikipedia reads this, they just fear, you know, exclusion, they fear not being welcome, they don't just, they just don't want to, you know, <laughs> they don't want to come and and be part of the community. So I think it's also important to care about the press and care about the image of the open and free movement. Okay, so our project, um, the project between the Boyd University of Applied Sciences and Wikimedia Deutschland, for those who just um, um, have come. Um, it, we just started this year in February, and the first part of the project runs until the end of uh, 2013. And um, we generally want to uh, focus on enhancing diversity. And in this year, the focus is on gender diversity. So we're thinking about other aspects of diversity uh, related to maybe other social demographic aspects in the next years. Our project is part, it's like a sub-project in a bigger program. Wikimedia Deutschland has an annual program related to fostering or improving uh, diversity of knowledge in the Wikipedia, and there are five different projects, and one uh, of them is ours, and it's simply called Wikipedia Diversity. Um, nothing spectacular, but <laughs> everybody, I think, knows what we're talking about. Um, um, what we do is or the aim is to have a concept uh, which um, encompasses different aspects and different actions. So we're trying to maybe take a more meta view on, of what is happening, how can we foster diversity with different actions, what can we do um, um, to attract women from particular uh, fields, from particular circles, what can we, uh, how can we, uh, for instance, improve the transfer of knowledge from other Wikipedias and so on and so on. So it's a very broad, larger um, uh, look uh, that encompasses smaller actions. I'm going to talk about, give you some examples later on. And the, um, the, the general approach that we take is um, based on the principles of open innovation. So the idea is to somehow it's not even about the bottom up and top down, but it's really about um, transfer of ideas, transfer of knowledge between different stakeholders, between ex subject matter experts, between Wikipedians, between Wikimedians, between uh, different um, um, educational organizations, and so on and so on. And transdisciplinarity, this is something that we do in our team. We have people with different um, backgrounds and it's very important to have not only this interdisciplinary, but transdisciplinary also means that it, it actually, it is science put to practice so that we don't do research for the research purpose, but research that has the application in practice. So that's what transdisciplinarity is about. And as far as the open innovation, I'm not going to do into detail um, about this. We have uh, different um, types of open innovation, just a structure to help us categorize the different actions and the different things that we do in the project, the different stages of how we can engage the larger community. Uh, is it an open call? Is it maybe something where we only invite selected people to represent the different uh, movements or the different directions? Or is it something that we do in a closed group and then present to the community and so on? Um, our um, a very simple triangle, which just helps us to remember about the important thing, is the diversity triangle, which is um, really about can, want, and may. This means whenever we think about diversity actions, um, it's about what people can do, what are their abilities, what are their attitudes, what they want to do, what are their preferences, their motivations and what they may do or what they are allowed to do, the regulations, the, the structures that maybe prohibit them or uh, allow them to do certain things. Just a very a generic but uh, helpful way to remember about the different aspects. Um, it took us a lot of time to uh, figure out the actual aims, what we want to achieve, and we have come up with this. These are our priorities. 
Uh, first of all, we want to increase the awareness. In the German Wikipedia, there is a lot of discussion about does it, this, the things that I talked about, does it really matter? What is the problem actually? So it's a matter of really creating the awareness for the problem. The second thing is creating what we call a welcome culture, and I heard about the friendly spaces. I think these are all very similar concepts. So really creating a culture where everybody is welcome, feels welcome. Um, the third one is the respect, respectful communication, supportive communication. Fourth one is the quality. Here we would like to do more research on how the social demographic diversity and the epistemic diversity, how they are connected, if at all. But I think they are. Um, and five is the participation. Um, and here we would do more research on the motivation, why women edit, why they don't edit, why they join Wikipedia, why they don't join, uh, or they don't want to join Wikipedia. Okay, so just a few examples. At the moment, we have prepared, we have a lot of, lot of material that we discuss internally in the project, and it's a negotiation project between my team at the university and the Wikimedia uh, Deutschland, so I am not going to give you like a full-blown action plan because we're, this is something that we are discussing after the conference when I get back. Uh, we will have uh, meetings and workshops, so this is something we'll work about, but, uh, on, but just to give you um, an idea, for example, we have, collect, uh, we have conducted um, some studies uh, based on questionnaires, a lot of interviews with people, did qualitative research, and I have also run a course at my university with students, and they were working on different projects um, that um, were aiming at developing some online learning or open educational resources that could um, address, or that address the gender gap. So as far as awareness, for example, we think that what is important is to produce some sort of diversity guide where we have the um, research facts, really something very basic, but something that we can use as um, an evidence, you know, to, to create uh, arguments, to come up with arguments, to have an, uh, a rational discussion. So a guide telling about what we know about the gender gap, what consequences does it have, and so on, so on. Something that is written, something we can communicate. Then another thing is a diver diversity portal, a place, just a space where we can present all the different ideas, we can um, present the, uh, show the people, so their, show their faces, for example, the women that added Wikipedia in Germany, and so on. So everything that's around the topic, just have it somewhere in one place and diversity scouting, looking for different good examples, best practice that we can show that can inspire others to start their own uh, projects and initiatives. Um, just an example, for, we're thinking about different infographics, just putting all these different statistics maybe in a, in a nicer visual format, putting them somewhere on, on Wikipedia um, or on the diversity website, um, just visualizing the information that we have. Um, the second aim was the, the welcome, the welcome culture. So we think it is important to provide more information to the newcomers, um, also focus on the local heroes, on male and female, um, people that are welcoming, that create this welcome culture, for example, for newcomers. Um, of course, do the different workshops on what, what is a welcome culture, how can we um, foster it, and create some safe spaces where people can um, do something before they are exposed to the large Wikipedia. And I think it is important that there is some sort of service uh, to, um, from the community to support, to foster the welcome culture. An example, for example, my students uh, su suggested it would be very good to create a film breaking the stereotypes, like women, I don't know, just taking care about their uh, uh, looks or something, and in this way showing um, um, that you know that there are different of various interests and various contributions, and um, um, in this way sort of contribute to the welcome culture. The supportive communication. Um, here we would like to sign maybe something like a declaration of supportive, respectful communication, something that is uh, important to all of us. Um, create also different learning resources. For example, my students suggested creating a feedback trainer where people could train themselves or learn how to give good constructive feedback and they could also experience how it is. Uh, when um, or different people could experience how it is if you are giving a negative, frustrating feedback and so on. And also different measures to support reputation, like awarding people who give 
provide good feedback with, I don't know, badges or anything else that can visualize their reputation as good, for example, as good feedback givers or conflict solvers and so on and so on. Yeah, so that's, for example, an, um, an example for a feedback trainer. Uh, the quality, like I said, we want to do more research on the uh, relationship between the gender uh, diversity and the epistemic diversity. I'm not going to talk about, uh, going to talk in detail about this. And the motivation, um, we want to see what are the reasons, what are the drivers. We want, but except for the research, we want to continue building different networks, uh, looking for multipliers. And for example, we already have a very good initiative called uh, Women Added. Uh, so we want to continue with the editing events. And actually, I have a colleague here, uh, Silvia. Uh, who is going to tell you just a few words about Women at It? Oh, thank you. Uh, so Women at It is a network for women who want to learn how to edit uh, Wikipedia and we meet up every month. Uh, we don't have a certain topic. Uh, everyone can come and uh, learn how to edit Wikipedia. And um, now we are going to start that, uh, to spread that all over Germany. That's our plan, uh, because now we are doing that in Berlin and we want to find other cities to do the same program. And if you're interested, uh, you can meet me after the session uh, at the Wikimedia Deutschland table. I'll be sitting there and I'm happy to answer your questions. And uh, there's a meetup tomorrow at lunchtime uh, at the meetup room close to the chapter's village. So I'll be happy to see some of you there. Thanks. Okay. Um, so I'm almost at the end of my presentation, just the key challenges. Um, I think some, somewhere we find ourselves at the, um, some sort of balancing act, you know, how do we approach it? We have different ideas for these different areas, the different goals that I just, just named. And the question is, you know, how do you approach it? How do you start it? How do you, um, how do you do it? And I think one of the dangers is that simply because of focusing on the gender, a lot of times uh, there is this phenomenon of social uh, categorization, you know, and in groups and out groups building. So we have to be careful about some phenomena so that we don't, um, I don't know, cause some gender wars or anything like this, you know, so that we are still friendly to, to each other. I think it's, uh, it's very important. So there, it is really a, a balancing act between wanting to change something at the same time it has to be, of course, the bottom up. We want to have the focus on, for example, on gender, but on the other hand, it should be inclusive for everybody. Uh, we need some mediation maybe uh, at some points in time, but of course the community has to be self-policing and we want to provide support, but people want anonymity. So there are the different, uh, the different aspects to think about um, when, um, yeah, or we think about when, uh, cre when talking about gender, doing gender. So we are going to uh, have two meetups. The first one is just right after the session in N 114. And we would like to talk to you about the uh, SWOT analysis of the gap, gender gap. So like what are the uh, challenges? What are the threats? What are, but also what are the potentials? And also what are maybe the strong sites in the Wikipedia that we can use? And what are some of the weak sites that um, we should recomp compensate for, maybe areas that we should avoid? And we will have a, a mind map to do it. We will have a Google Doc where you can provide the information. And also we will have, uh, we will have cameras or f uh, telephones. So we, you, we will be also taking pictures of, or not pictures, uh, films. So you can simply provide a, a natural speech, whatever video, so what, whatever format you like. And another announcement is that I would like you to save the date. And I have another colleague who is going to talk about the diversity conference that we're going to have in uh, Berlin in November. But yeah. Um, well, there's actually not much more to say. The meta page is um, on, the, on the screen. Um, and at the Wikimedia Deutschland table, we have those little uh, flyers that you can fill in if you're interested. And there's black, black boxes where you can just put it in um, to see if you're interested or not. Um, well, we, we update the meta page for any uh, yeah, upcoming changes or you know, um, the progress in planning. So if there's any question concerning the diversity conference, you can just talk to me or anyone at the Wikimedia Deutschland table. Okay, so that's it. If you are interested, if you want to contribute, um, share ideas, work with us, just get in touch. 
uh, you will find me there on Twitter, and I'm also curating some resources on Scoopit, so a very easy way to um, just collect the different things that are floating around on the internet related to Wikipedia, gender, and diversity. Thank you. So thank you, and I think we still have time for a couple of questions if anyone wants to. Um, if anyone wants to raise a question, uh, the gentleman over there. Thank you, this is Tahir Yasser from uh, University of Oxford. A very impressive work and project, thank you. Uh, I wonder whether we do have a statistics on the imbalance uh, of Wikipedia editors in terms of readers, not editors, uh, well, Wikipedia users in terms of readers. Um, do we have something like that, like how many percent of readers are women? Yeah, there, there has been a statistic. I think, Sarah, you're nodding. You probably know the exact number, but I know it's better than the, the editors. Um, so there are more readers than editors, that's for sure. But some other statistics show, for example, or studies show that women uh, tend to more disbelieve or, or, or see the quality of Wiki or rate, rate the quality of Wikipedia a little bit lower than, than, than men, for example. And then your projects, do you have any plan to like encourage women to read Wikipedia more rather than doing Facebook or watching cat movies? Th that's not really the, f the focus of our project, but I think, you know, it might be a side effect. I, you know, if we, if we contribute, for example, to the fact that the, the gender balance improves and that uh, women know they, or that there's more publicity, pu po positive publicity, that they will tend to maybe view the quality of Wikipedia also in another way and then refer to Wikipedia more. So I think it, could, it can be a side effect, but we're not focusing on this in the project. Okay, so we have time for one more question, if anyone wants to. Okay, just a brief piece of information on the uh, reader statistics. I believe that it's, it's a 40-60% it's a split. Um, so it is lower than the 50-50 split, but it's much higher than in the editing population. Um, and then I wanted to ask about to what extent you've been doing this research on the German uh, language uh, Wikipedia, right? And I'm wondering um, if you've kind of been in contact with people on, yes, and applauding for doing something not, not, on, not on the English language too. And I'm wondering how uh, unique or kind of generalized the, the issues that you're talking about are to the, like if, if, there, if things are different for women in other language uh, Wikipedias or other sort of uh, communities like that. I think they're very similar from the uh, from the studies. From the it, it really all comes up. For example, really the bottom line from our research so far is that it's really all about communication, how people feel, how they communicate, how they are respected, how they are um, awarded sometimes. And I think these are very similar um, issues that I also see. Especially, I, 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 the only languages I can speak is English, German, and Polish. <laughs> so this is the only thing I the, the information that I uh, that I'm aware of, and and. The, these issues seem to be very similar across the different Wikipedias. Um, thank you very much. And then we'll move on to the section um, given by Mrs. Uh, Ms. Jaden Lennon and Nether Hussein to talk about it. 